playing it safe. Playing sports is a lot of fun and a great way to stay fit. You can build your body's muscles and strengthen your heart and lungs. Getting fit is important, so staying safe. So is staying safe. Keep reading to find out five steps you can take to keep playing the sports you love. Wear protective gear. Protective gear is anything you wear that helps you helps keep you from getting hurt. The gear you wear depends on the sport you play. Helmets are the most common protective gear. They protect your all-important head while you're playing football, hockey, baseball, softball, biking, skateboarding, and inline skating, just to name a few. Make sure you're wearing the right helmet for your sport. For instance, don't wear your baseball batting helmet when you're playing football. Your helmet should fit snugly but comfortably and is and if it has a strap like a bike helmet does, you need to fasten it. Otherwise, it will fall off when you need it most. Other sports require eye protection, mouth guards, pads, wrist, elbow, and knee guards. And don't forget your feet. Cleats are worn in football, baseball, softball, and soccer. These shoes have special rubber or plastic points on the soles to help your feet grip the ground when you run around. Warm up. It's not a good idea to just bolt on the field and start playing. You shouldn't even start stretching until you're a little warmed up. So take a light jog to get loosened up and ready to play. Doing some stretching can also get you prepared to hit the field. By warming up, you get yourself ready to play. Warming up your muscles and practicing a sport helps keep you safe too. Warm-ups that last 15 to 30 minutes and include slow, gradual stretching help lengthen your muscles and increase your blood flow and muscles temperature. That way, your muscles are ready to go and have much less likely to get hurt. Know the rules of the game. When players know the rules of the game, what's legal and what's not, fewer injuries happen. You and other players know what to expect from each other. For instance, you know that in soccer, you can't come from behind, crash into a player's legs, and steal the ball. It's legal and safer to go after the ball rather than the player. With sports that use plays, it helps to understand that plays, the plays and what your role is in each one. Being where you're supposed to be can help you stay out of harm's way too. Watch out for others. Some rules don't have anything to do with scoring points or penalties. Some rules are just about protecting other people and being courteous. For instance, in baseball or softball, the batter can't fling the bat after hitting the ball and heading for first base. He or she must drop it so that it doesn't hit anyone. Likewise, a diver would make sure that the pool was clear before diving in. Otherwise, he or she might land on someone else. One way you can watch out for others is to communicate on the field. For instance, a baseball player in the outfield might yell, I got it to avoid a collision with another outfielder. Take breaks and don't play when you're injured. This is a really important one. If you love sports, it's tempting to want to play all the time, but it's important to give your body a chance to rest and recover. Try to take off one season a year. And if you have an injury, don't be in such a hurry to get back in the game. Playing when you're hurt or before an injury has a time to, has had a chance to fully heal is a bad idea. It can lead to an even worse injury, one that might sideline you for a long time. Now you know what kids need to know about staying safe. Hopefully, if you follow rules 1, 2, 3, and 4, you won't need number 5, or at least not quite as often.